hi y'all it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do Taurus's weekly reading for July 1st through the 8th this is for the sign of Taurus Sun Moon Rising and Venus generally my readings are love readings not sure who this reading is going to be for. It's going to be for somebody. I have done your six month forecast. If you want to find the, uh, go to my Vimeo, you'll be able to access this there if that's what you're looking for. Taurus, first week of July. So this is the vice versa deck. This one would be reversed. You could call it that, whatever. There's a front side and a back side. We have the, the Knight of Wands. We have the Seven of Wands. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Still carrying that burden, still heavy, heavier than hell. Whoops. We have the Death card, the Eight of Cups. The Five of Swords. Defeated. You're defeated. I'm feeling defeated. This is sad. What should I do? Should I go back? I've gotten to a really, really good place. Did I make the right decision? Standing up for myself? I know this had to end. This is the chariot, right? No, this is a death. See, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to this deck. This is a death, but it reminds me of the chariot with the two. You've taken some action to let something in. You've ended it. I ended it. I stood up for myself. I stood up for myself, but it still hurts. It still hurts. You won. You won. I accept. I accept it as it is. I, I have no fear of my future. I'm headed in a different direction. I know what I'm worth. I feel as though someone's pride has has been hurt but now I know that I am headed towards wish fulfillment I see things clearly now I had to stand up for myself I had to do what was right for me and cut you out of my life I had to because it was weighing way too heavily on me even though 
this hurts. I'm grateful for the lessons that I have learned and I am abundant now more than ever. So thank you for forcing me to stand up for myself and end this situation. I had to take action because this was going to cause me to collapse. Other people see that you have ended this. It's acknowledged. Your challenge is no longer needing to prove yourself. You don't need to prove yourself anymore, Taurus. Find your strength. Be assertive. There's a new opportunity on the horizon now that you have decided that this opportunity has nothing left. There's nothing left. It's done run out. I know what I'm worth and my beauty my beauty is more than this heaviness. I have love to offer. You've gained a lot of strength. I've gained strength. Through letting go and being on my own, I've learned to be strong. And I can take care of myself just fine, thank you very much. I know that I have plenty of options because I'm beautiful. Inside and out. Therefore, I'm turning my back on this situation for good. And I'm not looking back. I'm preparing for my future at this time. Because I'm not going to be involved in a toxic situation. I have a new opportunity for love that is very, very tempting. This person could even be my soulmate. This person is much better suited for me and they're right around the corner. It's very unexpected. There's an unexpected person coming right into my life. And the attraction is out of this world. And I've been waiting for it. And it's coming. It's here. It's coming. I'm glowing. I'm glowing. I've known this person from before, I'm sure of it. We're so familiar with each other and it feels really good. He thinks I'm beautiful.
All I can see is this new love potential. There's a new blossom in my life. I've blossomed. I may have not seen it in the past, but I see it now. I'm being given a new opportunity for something stable and secure. A new partnership. Solid. A solid opportunity for me. I have a new beginning because I've learned my lesson, so be it the hard way. I'm about to start a new phase in my life. that I've manifested and it's so stable I earned it it's happening pretty fast too this person knows how to communicate. And has integrity. And there's a lot of love to be had here. I'm ready. I'm being offered a new beginning in love that is undeniable with perhaps a soulmate that I have known before. This is a gift from above that I have manifested. I earned it. Through suffering, I've gained strength and I've let my beauty and love be shown there's a new opportunity for love Taurus that le that leads to something solid stable long term and it's something that you have manifested through your independence you've been going through some sort of independence This has been cooking behind the scenes for quite some time. The secret is about to be revealed. A new cycle is about to begin. You're headed to a very, very good place. There's a lot of uh, passion as well. Your actions are paying off. You are finally getting what you deserve. It appears that whether it's this week or next week, whatever it is, right around the corner, your beauty is about to be acknowledged by somebody who sees your worth and is going to love you for who you are. This person is going, to, is going to come into your life very unexpectedly. Maybe they're already in your life and they unexpe unexpectedly uh, profess, profess their feelings for you, their feelings of love. You stood up for yourself and took action. And now the universe is bringing you a suitor who is very, very much made for you. With that Page of Wands and the Lover's Card, those are both suitors that are suited very, very well for you. 
Who is this person? Your actions are paying off. You stood up for yourself and your reward is coming. That Ace of Pentacles is your reward. And it does have to do with love. Who is this person? Somebody that is committed. Somebody that wants a family. Somebody that is stable and secure. Knows what he wants. Has clear intentions. Absolutely knows what he wants, this person. Very mature. This person is very mature. Man or woman. Oh, it fell out like this. We have the judgment card. I think it's somebody that you've known before. This is this could be a resurrection of a relationship or or a reconciliation. This is like a second chance. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I do apologize. Can't hold that stuff in. I honestly believe myself, Taurus, that some of you may have an opportunity for a resurrection of a, of a relationship, but, but for many of you, this is somebody new that you have known before. We have the chariot and the strength card. You've had your head in the right direction. This person could be a Cancer, could be a Scorpio, could be a Leo. We have all the signs here. But there is an opportunity for a reconciliation with someone you've known before. And it does lead to success and stability. There's a lot of passion and an undeniable connection. Undeniable. It feels as though you are turning, you will be, some of you, will be turning your back on independence and that is going to take some strength to do that So I feel as though this is a week for Taurus of perhaps rekindling romance with someone from your past. And I need to clear up someone from your past because some of you automatically think it's somebody that you have slept with or it's your ex. Somebody from your past could be somebody that from your childhood, could be somebody from your hometown could be somebody from a past life that you feel familiar with the moment you look into their eyes. Whoever this person is that is coming into your life very quickly, we have the chariot, which is quickly. We have the knight of swords, which is quickly. We have the knight of wands, which is quickly. And we have the eight of wands. Something is happening very, very quickly in your love life. It may even be out of your comfort zone because, you know, you've been independent, you're taking care of business, you're doing good. And all of a sudden, there's, the, the, there's this attraction, there's this chemistry, there's this new spark 
this new opportunity that is undeniable. It happens unexpectedly. You have to make a decision. Do you want to continue being single or do you want to let this person in? This person is going to love you for who you are. Bare naked. So anyway, I feel like this is a week of, of love for you, Taurus. There should be a, you could be receiving, but the Eight of Wands, you could be receiving a message at any time from somebody that loves you. We're going to get, <laughs> I was going to say two of these, but here we go. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Do you have time? Do you have time for love? If you don't, you better start making some. Because that's what you really want. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Your soulmate is coming because you've manifested them. For those of you that are newly independent, okay, you're, work, you're still working on yourself, you're working on calling in your soulmate. For those of you that are ready, it's, it's here, it's, it's happening. Your beauty, your compassion, your kindness, and your love is bringing them to you. It's coming. There's a rebirth. There's a renewal here. There's a birth of a new, solid, stable, loving union. Are you ready? For some of you, somebody that's watching this, it will not be everybody. It's, it's coming this week. You should receive some message from somebody who wants to love you. Talk to you later.